as long as we live in this world, we cannot be without tribulation and temptation. Brethren in Christ, Jesus is King. Welcome to another week of the Imitation of Christ. Um, I'm trying to do trying to do this on unlisted YouTube so I can send it to the fellowship immediately on Wednesday because if I do a video chat, it delays it for like six hours or something. So uh, hopefully this is more helpful to you. Let me know what you think. Um, this is a reading for the Fellowship of St. Anthony. This is our lay sodality, offering up penance for clergy and seminarians. This is our, our new penance schedule, which begins uh, on after Martin Miss this Friday or on the first Sunday of Advent or the first Monday of Advent, rather. Um, so St. Martin's Fast or the Advent Fast. So, uh, so tier one, this is what we all commit to is, is doing penance on Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday during Advent, which is a pescatarian diet. Uh, so we're taking on no flesh meat. So you can eat fish Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Um, you can eat, you can eat dairy, but, uh, so abstinence from meat Wednesday, Friday, Saturday in Advent. Uh, daily prayer, weekly prayer, daily readings. And tier two, if you'd like to take that on, that's optional. St. Mart Martin's Lent. This is the the traditional Lent um, of our forefathers, which began on November 12th. So that's this Saturday after Martin Miss, which is Catholic Thanksgiving. Um, so that's uh, eating a vegan diet Wednesday, Friday, Saturday until Christmas. So no, no fish. Uh, and then fasting as well, adding on to uh, Friday penance. So that's the discipline if you want to take it on. Um, and then also the optional where some of us are also taking on the annual Holy Bible reading plan. So that's we've discussed that we'll, we'll continue to discuss that on the, on the public broadcast. And uh, that's detailed here, also linked right here. This is the link to the liturgical annual Bible reading plan. Uh, so that is uh, what some of us will take on as well. So if you want to join the Fellowship of St. Anthony, you have to be a financial supporter of the Guild. And then you can join the Fellowship as well. As always, if you can't afford to be a part of the Guild we can always give you free membership. So all the information is right here. Uh, you can join the online guild or contact us to join for free. So let's get to the imitation of Christ. Book one, chapter 13, resisting temptations. <clears throat> as long as we live in this world, we cannot be without tribulation and temptation. Hence it is written in Job, the life of man upon earth is a temptation. Therefore ought everyone to be solicitous about his temptations, and to watch in prayer, lest the devil, who never sleeps, but goeth about seeking whom he may devour, find room to deceive him. No man is so perfect and holy as not to have sometimes temptations, and we cannot be holy without them. Yet temptations are often very profitable to a man, although they be troublesome and grievous. For in them a man is humbled, purified, and instructed. All the saints have passed through many tribulations and temptations and have profited by them. And they who could not support temptations have become reprobates and fallen away. There is no order so holy, no place so retired, where there are not temptations and adversities." A man is never entirely secure from temptations as long as he lives. Because we have within us the source of temptation, having been born in concupiscence. When one temptation or tribulation is over, another comes on, and we shall have always something to suffer because we have lost the good of our original happiness. Many seek to fly temptations and fall more grievously into them. By flight alone, we cannot overcome. 
but by patience and true humility, we are made stronger than our enemies. He who only declines them outwardly and does not pluck out the root will profit little. Nay, temptations will sooner return to him, and he will find himself in a worse condition. By degrees and by patience, with longanimity, thou shalt by great God's grace better overcome them than by harshness and thine own importunity. In temptation, often take counsel, and deal not roughly with one that is tempted, but comfort him as thou wouldst, wouldst wish to be done to thyself." This is the end of the public portion. We'll continue on with the full reading of the in the fellowship version and discuss it as well. This is a powerful passage. 